All right, I'm going to calibrate this. Um, I'm going to calibrate it so the the uh, marker in the or the crosshairs associated with the camera will be the location of where this nozzle is. This is very important in doing this, so you'll know where to pick and you will know where to place. Now, we have three main compensation uh, variables. One for uh, compensating for the, uh, for the parts, actually two main compensation. For the part location, because this is at one level, and then you have the part compensation for the PCB, which is at another level. And that's, this is actually important because if your camera is a little bit off um, angle, then at a different level, it's going to be a different number. So we want to have two main, main, uh, main levels of, of calibration. It doesn't really make a difference that much with, um, with levels here. I mean, you could add more calibration levels if, if you have a really tall component and then you need to center it on that component. So what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to do one calibration, and that's going to be to the part level, another calibration to the, to the PCB level. So we're going to do the, the one first. I'm going to maneuver this so the, the Z is up a little bit so it doesn't hit anything. And now I'm going to go to the little circle that is for um, locating a uh, little circle here that is for the sprocket of standard uh, pick and place machines. And I'm going to use that as my calibration for the... Uh, it's small enough that I can get a pretty, pretty accurate uh, calibration. So I'm going to maneuver the camera to that location so it's centered in the, the hole that I'm going to be using for both. Okay, so I'm going to get to the this circle here, and I'm going to use my one thousandth of an inch to to move it to the center of that circle. It doesn't really matter where that circle is, if it's a little off, it doesn't really matter because we're going to be using this particular circle just to get a measurement between the nozzle and the, and the camera. Okay, that looks pretty centered. So that's going to be my center. I'm going to write those numbers down where that's located. Okay, so the numbers that I have are X is 1.2205, y is equal to negative 0.8602, and z is equal to, uh, it doesn't really matter what z is actually, because this is for positioning the nozzle in the xy coordinates. And then I'm going to find out where this is located on the nozzle. So we're going to actually um, get a magnifying glass and get a, the nozzle right on that point. Okay, so the center of the hole is at x location, 1.213, y is at location negative 0.8542. Now we're going to take the, the nozzle and we're going, to, we're going to center it on that hole. And I'm going to use a magnifying glass to do this so I know I'm getting it right on. I'm going to do this at 0 0.005 increments at first just to get it around the hole. Uh, now I'm going to go to the 0 0.001 increment when I got pretty close to it. There? Good, actually. Okay, so I'm pretty much centered. At the zero position for A, I'm centered in that hole. Next, after this, we're going to do compensation of the actual um, A rotation degrees. So now we know at the nozzle, the X position is at negative 1.4650, and the Y is at negative 0.1153. Now what we can do is we can use these numbers, we can subtract the x's and the y's, find their deltas, and we know the uh, displacement from the camera to the nozzle. So let's go ahead and do that. So the x difference is, the difference between x is 2.6753, okay? Now the y's, <coughs> negative 1.4. Four, negative 0.85 minus negative 0.1153 that's equal to 0.7389. So those are the displacements, those are the deltas between the x and the y. 